guys, Lassie here. Today, I have brand new Shopkins Constructions playset. These are kind of like blocks of some kind of like Lego and Mega Blocks. Except this set is even cuter now because it's Shopkins. Not only that, I have three baskets of Season 4 Shopkins to open. So without further ado, let's get started! Since we have three of these baskets, we're going to open one of them. And then in the middle of it, we'll open another one. And towards the end, we'll open the last one. I love how these baskets are in different colors now. So this one is in white. And they are stackable. Ooh, oh my goodness. <gasps> so cute. Wow, these are very different from the previous ones. In the previous ones, they were in colored bags. So you could not see it. But I kind of like how they are in clear bags now. So it looks like this one is a donut one. And this one looks like... A little carton of milk. For season 4, they have these Shopkins called Petkins, which are my absolute favorite. And they look like little pets. This one is Milk Bud, and this one is a special edition one. This one is so cute. And this one is called Dolly Donut, and this one is a rare. I just love how this one is not just one single solid color. As you can see, the outside is orange, and as it gets closer to the center, it becomes like a yellowish color. This one is super duper cute. Here is our Shopkins construction set. This one is the Cupcake Cafe set. And it comes with 175 pieces. And also it comes with four Shopkins. And they all look like, hmm, maybe season one Shopkins. And on the back, you can even see some of the other sets that are available. There's the cart set. There's the checkout lane set. Fruit and veggie stand set. And Shopville Town Center set, which is this huge one. And I'm sure they probably will come out with even more. So here is the instructions, or instructions. Oh wow, there are a lot to do. But first, let me show you about these Shopkins. So what's pretty cool about these Shopkins is that they have little holes on the bottom so that they can easily stand on the pegs of these construction pieces. And also, they are made in two parts. So you can actually take the top part off from this Shopkin too. And here is the donut one. Obviously, the top part comes off as well. Here's the third one and the top comes off and here's the last one I got and of course the top comes off too and what's really cool about this feature is that you can actually mix and match the pieces so now this little drink has like a cupcake looking top or this Shopkin who once used to be a soda bottle is now something else so now I'm going to follow the instructions and build this set and I'm going to just fast forward everything for you guys
my set is complete. You can see that it comes with some extra pieces right there. And also it comes with this bag with four little pegs which can turn any of your Shopkins into a Shopkin that is compatible with this playset. So to demonstrate those pegs, let's open our remaining Shopkins Season 4 blind baskets. I gotta say, the playset was actually much harder than I thought to put together. But it looks really cute. Ooh, I got a little cherry one. And here is my last basket. A pudding and a glitter looking one. So here's one of the Shopkins I got from my blind basket. And as you can see, there is a hole on the bottom that's quite large. And you just have to peg this piece right in which fits very nicely and your Shopkin is now construction compatible. Here's another one. And here is the glitter one, which is this an ultra rare? I wonder. And here is my last one. Unfortunately, some of the Shopkins do not have holes on the bottom, so you cannot peg those little pegs in which is a little sad, but that's okay, they still look really cute. Finally, here is my Shopkins Construction Cupcake Cafe all put together with some of the Shopkins I got today. I think it's cool that this set comes with pegs to turn your Shopkins into constructions friendly, and I think the color scheme of this set is just really adorable. However, I do feel that some of the steps were very unnecessary, and I also thought that some of the instructions were not as clear. It could also be my set, but I also found that some of the pegs were kind of hard to, you know, match together. This set is actually a lot smaller than I had thought, so I kind of wish that it was a little bigger. So I guess the next time I will try something even bigger. I don't know, what do you guys think about this set? Do you guys like it? Do you think it's a little too complicated? You guys let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time!